Welcome to Uzulu Garage. How's it going? Hopefully everybody's doing great. Today it's a little uh, warm today. Well, for us it's warm. It's 34 out and the Jeep's really dirty, the interior. And today's video is going to be about Shiny's Bolt Shine Interior Cleaner. I picked this up in that mystery bucket. If you guys watched the video, if not, check it out. Um, so this stuff right here, according to direction, it's safe for leather, vinyl, and interior surfaces. Removes dirt and grime. So we're going to be cleaning up the Jeep interior first. I'm going to vacuum it up first. Clean out the uh, mats. It's pretty dirty. Look at that. So we're going to see how well this stuff cleans. Check it out. So basically uh, the directions right here is for interior. Apply product using a towel brush. Agitate into the surface to remove dirt and grime. And rinse off with uh, another another uh, Microsoft towel and it's safe on leather and vinyl and plastic so first I'm gonna vacuum it real quick and then we'll uh, start cleaning it man she that Jeep's pretty dirty with that I'm gonna wash it too but I'm not gonna have a video of me washing it man and if you follow this video I'm gonna make a video too also on the uh, uh, Jeep today with the bead makers so guys check that one out at the end of this video so all right let's get to it okay we're gonna you start using the shinies interior cleaner i got the microsoft towels right here i got two new ones pretty much these are i uh, pick them up at harbor freight with the coupons get a free a lot when i go there and need something these are pretty good for uh interior cleaning um yeah they work pretty good for cleaning interior i wouldn't use them for wax but for clean interior they work pretty good you can save your nice expensive ones for uh, removing polishes and waxes and sealants. All right, get sprayed on there like the drag could say. And then we're going to wipe it in. Granted, that, the dash is just dusty. Let's see how it's doing. It's doing pretty good. Let's see if it's going to really cut this dirt that's in uh, the cup holders. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, it does got a nice smell to it, citrus smell to it. it. Smells good. So it should make the Jeep smell pretty good. Wiping all these panels up. Hopefully you guys can see. Sorry if I'm moving out around a lot. I got uh, using my usually using my GoPro session to make my videos. And then uh, then you can kind of go over it with your dry towel. Microsoft looks good. Now let's, I uh, still got plenty on my towel. Let's clean the, see how well it does on the screen. Should be safe for the screen. Man, look at that. Took all the fingerprints off. And then get my dry one. Look at that. Look at that shine. Looks good. Should put some wax on there. It's nice you can use it on your cluster then. Clean it all up. And the bull shine. Now this is not a sponsored video. I bought this in a mystery box. Um, Shiny's Detail. They're a small company. And um, actually his name is Steve also like mine. And he uh, originally from Michigan. He started this small business for detailing products. I'll have his link below. You guys can check them out. It's nice supporting a, a small company. Yep. Right there. Clean it up. I'll get all that clean. It's cleaning pretty good. Let me get my dry one. Get right there. Look at that. The cluster looks nice. Really good. Hey, I only put a little bit on the Microsoft, and that went up. Stayed on there, lasted pretty long. Plus, two, you can get your toothbrush out right here. You can spray some on your toothbrush, soft toothbrush, and your old one. And get in these little areas right here. And that helps uh, get those hard spots clean. Look at that came out pretty good yep old toothbrush get in there and get in those cracks 
as long as it's a soft bristle and that will help get all those hard areas it's one of the best tools to do that how many of you guys use a toothbrush instead of buying uh, the fancy tools but it's nice having the fancy stuff too all right let me continue on here and then we'll we'll tackle this what i'm liking too about this interior cleaner it um gives a nice it basically cleans it and it basically looks factory to get that there's no gloss to it it's not shining once it uh flashes it has a nice uh just like you know a satin finish so if you're like uh nice satin finish this is it because we already did this already did that got some dust see how it just gives a nice satin look almost like the stuff factory look so it's perfect if uh, you like that and then plus two if you want you like it shiny you can use a different product you can add a when you're done you can use a different product on it and it's a little bit shiny there's other uh, products out there that can uh, use to shine it up a little bit if you like a little gloss to it sometimes i like the gloss and sometimes you know i like the factory look i go back and forth so next time i do this maybe i'll try a product with uh gives it more of a gloss but this is uh perfect for factory look and it cleans too so far all right get in here it's nice it's safe on all all areas a lot of times too i spray the product on the on the surface that i'm cleaning sometimes it helps out a little bit just got something on here Let's see if we can get it trashing the jeep now on this i'm gonna we're gonna spray it up a little bit let it sit getting it cleaned up looks good looks nice dogs barking time i'll make a video what i did notice too also uh, this stuff flashes pretty good where you don't have to uh, do another uh, wipe on it especially with this black and this black's pretty much like a satin in this Jeep um, that's pretty cool I mean it flashes really nice even as you can see there you go no it's really dirty down here all right Got it soaked up a little bit. Well, get the brush out. Probably have to clean my toothbrush after this cup cleaner. Just got coffee spilled everywhere. It's been hard to clean these things during the winter. It's been cold. And I haven't been driving the Jeep that much. Man, that, this thing is trash. She's pretty good at trashing a vehicle inside. With the wife, she pretty much knows how to clean it. <laughs> crazy she's got OCD in the house if you watch my opening of the mystery box how clean it is but the Jeep nope man look at that cut right that look at that they cut that stuff right up I put gloves on too because it started just in case because this stuff's got some citrus to it and you can kind of feel it on your hands for me anyway so look at that that's pretty good. Wow. I cleaned that right up with ease. It only took me probably a, not even a minute. Look at that. A couple spots. Right here. Hopefully you guys can see that really good. But yeah, I cleaned that coffee and pop stain and everything else up in a minute. Look at that. Even the, my Microsoft towel is still clean. Look at that. Wow, that's pretty good. It's about there. Let's keep his head. Oh, yeah. Now let's get it right in here. Hope you guys can continue to see. Brush the teeth. 
teeth. <laughs> yeah, these two brushes are great. I know I said it before, but man, it's these things are perfect for cleaning inside your vehicle. Soft brush. A lot of times you get them free when you go to the dentist. I usually ask for an extra one. And then I use them. in here there's not much room all right let me continue to get her done looking pretty good huh guys what do you guys think shiny and tear clean doing its job i think so all right gotta continue gotta do the door door seals gotta still gotta do the back it's nice you can use it on your screen to clean uh, all your stuff up all right let me continue and then we'll uh I'll show me wiping down a couple spots and then we'll have our final thoughts about the product. Here we go. Oops. We know it cleans the plastic up pretty good. This area always gets hit with dirt. Alright. Gotta get in here. This plastic, you see that it's just scratches from uh, from her nails. That's not coming out. Now you can see as it's flashing. It's cool out too, so it's taking a little bit longer to flash, but it's flashing. See here, here. I haven't used that much product either. That's what's nice too. Oh, tear, cleaning tear is not as fun as doing uh, the exterior. All right, look at that flashed. Ain't got scratched there. Yep, flash is nice. Heck yeah. All right, I'm going to continue, and then we'll go over it. All right. Cleaned it up good. I always like cleaning these the cracks. There you go. No way. You guys see that? I really wanted to wash it and try out that bead maker. What the heck, man? Uh, it was nice out. Because you got to let that stuff sit, I think, 12 hours. I don't know. I'm going to wash it in here and see. It might clear up and then we'll be able to let that bead made occur settle for 12 hours i think it would be all right i think it's just a little flurries i'm still gonna wash it okay my final thoughts on the shiny bow shine interior cleaner that works great um you guys have seen the results first time me i'm you know using this product um i never even test the product usually on all the products i basically just make the videos on the fly and show you guys and see how they work um, if i make mistakes i make mistakes or whatever or if it doesn't work the results um yeah it cleaned up good you guys seen in the video it cleaned up the coffee stain right here pretty good and um yeah with ease i mean it, it took it right out really nice the stains and the pop stains and stuff like that um it gives it a nice uh 
like it's factory look on the dash and everything it cleans your your screen you can see how clean it is everything's cleaned um that's nice too it flashes really good even though it's cool out it's only like 34 degrees yep 34 if you guys see it um so it flashes really nice so really you don't have to uh go back over with a another microsoft towel maybe it's a little warm out but it probably flashes a lot faster so that's what's nice too and it's evened out real nice i mean this is smooth here this basically kind of like a painted plastic and it's just look at that. i never even did a, a dry wipe on it to wipe it off to any access it just that's how nice it was and um she got in here she got something but yeah it cleaned up nice i like the look of it cleaning jeep up pretty good so well that's it for that video uh we'll have more on the, these products from shiny's uh detailing um so like I said, it's a small company, and it's always nice to support a small company. Um, yeah, instead of uh, go, always going and buying expensive stuff from the big companies. But as you can see, I did the whole Jeep, and look how much I have left. Now, granted, I didn't do the bar, the sound bar, and stuff like that. I mean, I did the sides. Um, I did the doors, all the doors, the dash in here, and... Yeah, I mean, granted, that's not a lot of plastic on the Jeep inside for interior-wise. I mean, it's a lot of plastic, but not a big areas. So that's pretty good. And I, So if you're going to do another car that's bigger and got a lot more plastic, you're not going to use that much more. I mean, I was spraying this like crazy a little bit to uh, soak it up, pre-soak it, and that's pretty good. So this will last a long time cleaning some vehicles. Um, I have to use that vehicle on the Fusion and that. But, uh, yeah, that's nice. And I, I do like the, the satin look in here. And I do like a shiny more gloss look also. I like both. I go from back and forth. Like I said, it's everyone's got their own taste. And, um, yeah. So, the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't, you know, subscribe and uh, like if uh, for our future videos on detailing and car shows. Stuff like that. That we all have coming up. And uh, Yeah, if you want to hang out with some uh, auto detailers and mechanics and stuff like that fab auto has uh, um every saturday at 9 p.m he has a live stream um come on and show up it's great it's uh family friendly everybody uh we talk about all kinds of stuff food a lot we do talk about food a lot uh on a detail channel it's funny we have a good time and then of course you got uh, shane auto on wednesdays and sundays that have live streams uh same thing mechanics and we talk about all kinds of stuff set the same thing and it's fun and family friendly also and if you look in my description below there's a bunch of channels that does live streams uh, different days um, you can check them out and uh, meet different people in the auto you know auto community detail mechanics you name it um, yeah we got a bunch of us that, that show up there everybody has different kind of cars and vehicles and we, everyone gets along and, and whatever even if you don't have a car come on and join the, some of the chats descriptions and below check all them out you guys have a great one later